it's day six of my video ness. So topic of today is Oh, I think this is the cutest one yet. It's a little reindeer. So today my video is going to be about weird Christmas traditions and the first one is it's really quite scary. I am actually quite fearful of it. Okay. So in Austria, uh, men dress up as this guy called Krampus Knight. I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. And they, so they dress up as like the devil pretty much. Their masks are really scary though. And it's meant to be... Santa's evil twin and he finds all the bad kids and stuff so these men dress up as the devil and beat people with sticks it, that's pretty weird enough but here is a picture of one of the masks in Spain, Portugal and Italy they have little people, like little figures of famous people, it like started off with Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, and figurines, is, it's fair enough reasonably, I mean I wouldn't buy them, but each to their own, but these figures are of these characters doing a crap, that's, that's it, really. I don't see why that is Christmassy. It's it's really really quite odd. It's called the Kaganer thing. But it's very odd. You can also get ones of Santa, uh politicians and nuns. That's a more modern thing though. In the Czech Republic, which I think this is kinda sad, but I also kinda want to try at some point. On Christmas Eve, unmarried Czech women, uh, they do this traditional fortune telling thing, which is where they, they throw a shoe. So they stand with their back to the door and throw a shoe over your shoulder and if it lands with the toe facing the door it means that you will get married in the next year and if it lands with the heel facing the door then you're not going to get married next year. So, sucks to be you. Um, in Catalonia, they have a really, really weird Christmas decoration. Not quite as weird as the figures doing craps, but it's a log with a smiley face on it. And you have to put a blanket around your log so that it doesn't catch a cold. And it, it's called the pooping log. I, I don't really get it, I'll be honest. They encourage, along with beating, lots of things involve beating with sticks, um, they encourage, well the log is encouraged along with beating by singing a song which goes along the lines of, put log, put her on, hazelnuts and cottage cheese, if you don't poop, we'll hit you with a stick, poop log. Um, and this log poops out candies and nuts. So, oh, and and at the very end, this is actually described as he will give one big push to reveal an onion, a head of garlic, or herring. I really wish we had stuff like this in Britain. We just got like Christmas pudding. So yeah. Uh, if you ever want a very interesting Christmas, go to Catalonia. In Norway, they supposedly get brooms and hide them, and men go outside and fire a shotgun to scare bad spirits away. Yeah. Uh, in Japan, which I actually have known about the fact for quite a few years, for Christmas dinner, they have KFC. There's like a specific Kentucky Christmas bucket, which I think is kind of cool. 
kind of. Um, in Caracas, when people go to the church service, they go on rollerblades. No matter how old you are, you're to rollerblade to your way to church. And in Ukraine, they hide fake spiders, and it's like a game for the first person to notice the spider, like, wins. Which is pretty cool. It's it's from a, a folk tale that a poor widowed woman could not afford decorations for her family's tree. And one morning she woke up to find that the spider had decorated the tree with its web. There you go. Um, in this one, I think I might take part in just because it's really easy and people won't think I'm insane and won't even know, probably. So, yeah. In Spain, there is a tradition which is for New Year, actually. And it's customary to wear red underwear on New Year's Eve. So, there you go. And in a place called... in a small town on La Font de la Figuera, we've got the tradition of a run on New Year's Eve and you only wear red underwear. And people of all ages participate in this event. There you go, now you know some mental Christmas traditions you could take part in this year. I hope to hear of some of you actually doing these things because that would be really funny. And if you are going to do any of these things, video it. See you tomorrow!